Math Warriors, welcome to another video brought to you by GED Talk on how you can use the TI-30XS on different math problems that you might see on the math exam, the science exam, even the social studies exam. But in this video, we are going to talk to you about how you can use the table key to help you when it comes to questions about equations that have to do with graphing a line. So let's take a look at um, a possible question or an example of a question that you might see on the actual GED exam. So it says, which equation would pass through the points negative 1, 0, and 2, negative uh, 3? So then your answer choices are different uh, equations in the y equals setup um, that you might be able to choose from as the answer choice. And so many of you learned that uh, when you want to solve these types of equations, you need to find the slope and then you could find the um, slope intercept um, form or you can use the slope intercept form um, to look for B and then you could find um, the answer from the answer choices that you see on the example. Well, some students, you know, when you're taking the exam, you have a tendency maybe to forget things and you forget that the slope formula is on the formula sheet. You might forget that the slope intercept um, form equation is on the formula sheet. So it's just something that if for some reason you forget that you have um, this information in front of you when you take the exams, know that your calculator can help as well. Um, so if you want to do it, um, manually and or not even manually if you just decide that hey I want to find the slope um, and you want to find the value for B um, and then by all means folks do that this video is just sharing with you how your calculator can help you as well um, so as you can see from the screen I use the slope um, formula to figure out that the slope is negative one and the y-intercept b equals negative one as well. And so most people when they figure out the slope and they look at their answer choices, they know that, hey, this is going to be the answer choice. Because it's the nice thing about multiple choice questions is that the answer is there for you. You just got to figure out which one of your choices is the answer choice. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at how the table key can help us with this problem. So what I need to do is I need to make sure that my answer choices are in the y equals setup. If your answer choices are not in the y equals setup, see if you can rewrite it, meaning get y by itself, um, and then you can use the table key on the calculator to help you out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the table key, that is the key that is in the third row down, fourth column over, it is to the left of the clear key. And I'll press that table key and notice that it has the y equal setup. And so what I can do is I can start entering the different answer choices that I have here um, to see which one will pass through these different um, points. Uh, that they give me on the screen. So the first one is 3x. That x key is uh, the third uh, row from the bottom up um, in that first column. 3x plus 3 and I'll press enter and then I see this menu and it's asking me where do you want your list to start, how many steps from the beginning to the end um, because it's, it's going to enter uh, x values and then um, as you can see we have auto selected but to the right of it it says ask x. I want it to ask me what x values because I know the two x values, negative 1 and 2. So whenever I input negative 1 and 2, the correct answer choice will give me the corresponding y value. So I want it not to be auto, I want it to be ask x. So I'm going to use my arrow key to get down there or I could press enter um, until my cursor is there. And once my cursor is over 
ask X, I'm gonna press enter. I'll press enter again to get to the okay. And now I have two empty columns. Well, I'm gonna tell it instead of it going and being like automatically I created this long list from negative whatever number because you could scroll up to get negatives all the way down to positive whatever because it's just a continuing list but x equals negative one enter notice it automatically was like hey if x equals negative one y equals zero bam that's the first ordered pair but i have to test the second one so i'm going to do two x equals two press enter and i get nine so this first equation is out the door okay i'm going to go back and i'm going to enter the second equation so table and i'm going to enter negative three x plus nine hit enter same thing i want to make sure it's asking me so i just hit enter all the way down and i have my two values when x equals negative one y equals 12 nope not even close out the door for the second answer choice the third um, answer choice y equals negative x minus minus one let me clear the nine and I'm gonna hit enter. I want it to do the same exact thing, ask, and there we go. When x equals negative one, y equals zero, bam, first ordered pair. When x equals two, y equals negative three, oh, there's the second ordered pair, and there is my answer. The answer for this problem is the third choice, y equals negative x minus one. So. If you are um, quick to want to just do problems like this by hand because you know where to find that um, slope formula as I showed you on um, the little piece of paper that popped up before, this is something that you're going to be able to do you know, manually by hand if you wanted to. But if you forget that you have the, the slope um, equation on that formula sheet and you're stuck, you don't know what to do, just know that your calculator can help you out. And that's by using the uh, table key to just input the different equations and the different um, x values for those ordered pairs. Thank you for joining us for this video brought to you by GED Talk. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up and check out some of our other videos that we share on how to use the TI-30XS on the GED exams.